it's a horrible thing, but you certainly learn a lot from the process. River came up over the road for quite some time. We had eight inches on the main floor of our house. The north wall and the south wall were off and it looked like a dollhouse. The water level on the main floor had reached about two and a half to three feet. Do we walk away from the house? Can we afford to even rebuild? View what's in front of you in the case of a marathon, not a sprint. The University of Minnesota Extension and North Dakota State University Extension Service have developed Recovery After Disaster, the Family Financial Toolkit to assist in financial recovery from disaster. The toolkit is free and available at this website. These tools will help you think through the situation that you're in uh, to establish priorities and decide what needs to be done and help you to act with purpose in moving forward after the disaster. So a lot of folks may have homeowner's insurance, but they don't have flood insurance. And if it's a flash flood event and they're not in a flood zone, chances are they don't have flood insurance policy. And that's where FEMA really comes into play. If enough homes are damaged severely enough and survivors do not have insurance to cover the costs of repair, the president can issue a declaration of individual assistance. This will help eligible survivors with housing costs and other needs. It's to help people with the repairs to their home and temporary housing. Individuals and households are programs that come together to help people get back up on their feet. That's what we kind of do in a disaster recovery center. We match up the need with the resource. They're prepared. They, they handle a lot of the disasters nationwide, obviously, so they're experienced. So they kind of understand what they're going to walk into and the shell shock and the, you know, reactions. Everybody's reactions from what they told me is different, you know, from anger to extreme sadness to just that plain old shock. If an individual assistance declaration is made, a Small Business Administration, or SBA declaration, is automatic. Survivors will learn if their income qualifies them for an SBA loan. So our disaster assistance comes in the form of a low interest loan. And it's one of the many tools that are out there during a disaster offered from federal and state and local resources. It is important to recognize that your life will never be exactly the same as it was. Consider what you want your new reality to look like and how federal disaster assistance will help you to achieve that future. There are people out there who are ready and willing to help you make those decisions and to make the right decisions and to, to make sure you're going to be taken care of as you go forward in this. A community arises out of a disaster stronger, more deeply connected, and great believers in themselves that whatever we face, we can face it together.